Hi, my name is Tim Morfoot. Uh, I'm a member of CorrectCraftFan.com. Uh, screen name is Morfoot on the website, and it's going to throw together a little training video on how to check for a disc bond. Uh, there have been a lot of guys on the site here lately that have started looking into purchasing an older boat, but aren't quite sure what to check for. So I brought home a training aid. I uh, have worked at Delta Airlines for 11 years in their engine composite shop, so have a lot of composite experience. So I brought home a training aid to uh, show you and for yourself exactly uh, in this video and show you what a bond is and what a disc bond is. And there's terminology in the in the field is bond, disc bond, and delamination. Now there is a difference. Um, and what we have here, this is an acoustical liner out of one of our engines here, or at, at work. And what we do is, is, is it's made out of fiberglass, and it is bonded to a honeycomb core. Okay, when we say bond, it's actually sheets of layers of fiberglass that are glued together, and it's cured. And then they glue that to a honeycomb core, and this is for sound suppression in the engine. Okay, but the principle is still the same. So when you do a tap test on your stringer on your boat or a potential boat that you're looking at, you're going to take a, an object, and right here, I, just a pocket knife will work, or if you have, uh, if you have an, a socket, or with a, with a, uh, this is just a 3-8 drive socket, you can use that, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use just a, just a regular pocket knife. What you want to do is you want to tap on the panel, and you hear that, that sharp clicking sound, okay, and as you're tapping on your stringer, you're going to tap, and listen for that sharp sound. Now, once you find a disc bond, you hear how that, it's a dull thud right there. Go back to solid. That's where your disc bond is. And what a disc bond is, is it's actually the fiberglass has come unglued from the honeycomb core. It's actually disc bonded itself. I know a lot of times that people use the terminology delamination, but that's not what a delam is. Uh, now here's a cross-sectional view of what the panel looks like. Right here you'll see the honeycomb core, okay, and then here is layers upon layers of fiberglass, okay, and this fiberglass is actually glued to the honeycomb, okay. Uh, picture you will, this honeycomb is what your, what your stringer is. This is uh, first, your first stringer. This fiberglass, when you lay it up, is actually bonded to the, to, to the stringer. When you have a disc bond, the fiberglass actually disc bond has actually come unglued from your stringer, and that's the difference. Now, on the other side of this panel, uh, if you'll notice, you see how thick this is, and this thickness is about a quarter of an inch thick, and it's just nothing but fiberglass layers, layer upon layer upon layer of fiberglass. And if we scan and move up towards the top, what a delamination is, is the plies of fiberglass are coming unglued from one another and they're starting to separate. They are delaminating from one another. Okay, that's what a delam is. Okay, so there is a difference. And a lot of times, like I said, uh, the terminology is used interchangeably, but there is technically a difference. Now, when you go uh, to looking into buying a boat, uh, we're sitting in uh, my 88 Correct Craft Ski Nautique. Uh, if you can get the flooring up, it basically it amounts to pulling the engine cover off. There's two bolts that bolts the engine cover to the floorboard. Uh, and then the floorboard just lifts right up. And if you scan down, you'll see the stringers. And these are the primary stringers right here. When you do your tap test inspection, you want to, what, what you're wanting to look for is you're looking for that disbonded sound. So take your, your pocket knife, or you can use the, the butt end of a ratchet, and you want to tap. Tap all along that stringer. Well, you can use the socket. Socket works just as good. Something sharp and something heavy where you get a good solid knock. You can use a hammer, whatever's available. Uh, I just like using pocket knife. That's easy to use because it's small and you can get it into different areas. And you want to go all the way back as far as you can. And as you're down here tapping, you're listening for that hollow sound. When you have a hollow sound, then you know that the fiberglass that's encapsulating the stringer has become disbonded from your stringer. 
Uh, also, the other thing that you want to check when you're looking into stringers uh, at a potential new boat for you, a used boat that has wood stringers in it, is the engine mount bolts. These are the engine mount bolts here on the aft side of the, of the engine. Uh, you want to put a wrench, ratchet, something on there, and you want to turn these bolts. And if, if you're putting pressure on it and it's free spinning, then you know that the stringer is rotted. Um, you can also pull these boats out, pull these bolts out, and one of the guys on the side has suggested uh, using a small piece of tissue paper and use something to shove it down in the hole and pull that tissue out. And if the tissue is wet, you know that you've got moisture in there, which probably means you've got rotten stringers. When you're checking for stringer rot, uh, you want to look down here at the base of where the stringer is attached to the bottom of the hull where it is bonded to the hull and if you've got cracks in there then you know you've, your stringers are disbonding from the hull and you've probably got rotten stringers. So uh, that's basically uh, it. Uh, hopefully th this, this little demonstration training videos helps you out and maybe gets you to understand a little bit about what disbonding is and, and what you're searching for when you, when you do a non-destructive tap test uh, method of inspecting your stringers. Uh, those of you guys that are out looking for new boats, hopefully this helps you out and good luck and uh, thanks for watching.